You've probably heard the saying, if all of your friends jumped off a bridge, would you do it too? If you didn't hear your own parents saying it, you probably heard it from parents on TV. It's a question meant to make children stop and think about the power of peer pressure. There's just one problem. There's actually a good chance that people actually would jump off a bridge after all of their friends. At least, there's a better chance than you might think. Conformity forces people to completely abandon all reason and reality. Why else would 900 people drink poisoned Kool-Aid at Jonestown? Why would people commit horrifically violent acts, like those during World War II and the Holocaust? Psychologists throughout the second half of the 20th century conducted experiments that focused on conformity, social psychology, and obedience. One of the most famous experiments from this time is the Ash Line Test. And in this video, I'm going to explain what this line test said and how it shows the power of peer pressure and conformity. So the Ash Line Test, also known as the Ash Conformity Experiment, attempted to see how often people would abandon reason just to perform. They were conducted in the 1950s by a psychologist named Solomon Ash. Ash brought individual participants into a room full of confederates, which is another word for basically actors. Researchers asked the group a series of questions to test their vision. Of course, the confederates or the actors were in on the experiments and answered the questions according to Ash's instructions. One of these tests of vision was to look at a line on one side of the board and three lines on the other side of the board, labeled A, B, and C. One of the lines was the same length as the individual line, while the others were noticeably longer or shorter. Ash asked a series of questions about which line was the same length as the individual line. And this was not a tricky test, it was very simple. Ash conducted trials in which participants simply had to guess which line was the same length, without the influence of anyone else. Participants answered correctly 99% of the time, they matched the right lines. He later conducted experiments to show when people can make and share decisions privately, they're less likely to conform. Sometimes, the group would answer correctly, but not always. Ash instructed the confederates to confidently choose the wrong answer. Now, it was usually pretty obvious that the answer was wrong, but none of the actors batted an eye. Then the participant would have to make a decision. Would they go with their gut, the right answer, and answer separately from the group? Or would they conform to peer pressure and choose the incorrect answer? There wasn't much room for debate within these answers because it was pretty simple. Yet, 75% of the participants answered incorrectly at least once in order to conform with the group. That's a lot of people saying the wrong answer just to go along with everyone else. When all of Ash's studies were combined and the data was compiled, researchers found that 33% of the time, participants just went along with the group. This is mind-boggling for psychology. Now let's talk a little bit about factors influencing the experiment, because although this is one of the most famous experiments in social psychology, it's certainly not perfect. Ash conducted over a dozen trials, but the type of participants did not vary greatly. Most participants were males from Swarthmore College, Maybe their sex or their education could have an impact on whether they conformed to the group. Maybe the confederates that they picked, the actors, made an impact. More recent studies on conformity show that the peers doing the pressuring may have an impact on conformity. If a participant identifies with the confederates in the group, they may be more likely to conform to group norms. But let's zoom out even further. The study was conducted in the United States of America during the 1950s. Many psychologists suggest that that time period may have had an impact on the findings, because after all, the students in the study were likely aware of the Red Scare and the McCarthyism tactics used to blacklist people for alleged communist practices. McCarthy didn't use much reasoning in his questioning. If people were not conforming to the capitalist idea of America, they would potentially lose their careers and dignity. In short, this is a long way to say the pressure to conform throughout the country was high. But as we move on, why do we conform? All of these factors, and the results themselves, really make you think about why we conform. The Ash Line Test is often used to justify the ideas of normative social influence. Participants are influenced to conform to the group solely to avoid social punishment. They do not want to be seen as an outsider. We've talked a lot about this in our in-group and out-group bias videos. Critics of this idea argue that the motivation is simply to avoid punishment, rather to conform. They see these two different things as different decisions. Another type of influence, called informational influence, occurs when someone believes that the group is more informed than they are. While this might not have taken place during the Ash Line experiments, it's more likely that normative social influence was the culprit. After all, it was pretty obvious which line was the right choice. I mean, you can look at it yourself. And it's been over 60 years since Solomon Ash created his conformity experiments. They have been replicated all over the world by psychologists since then. Researchers have considered different factors, including sex, nationality, culture, and age. And in many of these experiments, a majority of participants conformed to the group at least once. 
A very small amount of participants conformed every time, but conformity did take place. Jumping off a bridge is very different from choosing which line is the same length as another line, but peer pressure does influence a person's decisions. So the next time you find yourself going against your gut, think about this ash line test. Do you believe that you could be wrong, or do you just want to conform with the group? I think an important thing to note about this experiment is it's important to speak out whenever you feel that you may be thinking differently from the people around you. I believe communication is a very important takeaway from this experiment. As Ash actually mentioned in one of the experiments, when all the Confederates could talk, they became more confident that the participant was correct. Anyways, I hope you enjoyed this video on the Ash line experiment, and I've hoped you learned something. If you have any questions, feel free to leave a comment down below. And as always, I have a whole social psychology series I'd love for you to check out. Thanks for watching, and I hope to see you in the next video.